All right, here we go. We're at a field depot. It is 160 uh, Turnpike. No, Fairview. All right, that's the sound of the chew mesh. This is those televisions. Experience the relaxed luxury living of Cortona Point, set against the beautiful backdrop of the San Ynez Mountains in Goleta, California. Brand new modern apartment homes with upgraded designer finishes and smart home amenities. All right, I know my sister will say, I don't have the same thing as you, but. <laughs> Coming summer of 2021. Santa Barbara has a legacy of protecting critical open space for the community. And this one's even crapping out. It just stops all the time. Let me see if they're all like that. So now I'm walking to number five depot. Oh, this one's not on. Santa Barbara Airport. Oh, yes. Us is rolling with yeah, it's, 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 it's crapping out. So I can't even show you how loud it is. But it's going to go like that all day. And I can hear it myself. It like goes into my head. Cruella. Now hiring Fairview Theater, so it's at it's across the street, two twenty-five. So, if Jeremy has something to do with that fuel depot, he might have something to do with this one, like the shell we're gonna go over and take a look at. Just to say hello to our buddy, see if he's heard any news. All right, we put in ten bucks. <laughs> that means we're gonna be putting in more soon. We bought a Rockstar Recovery, but we're gonna drink a whole bunch of water. It's saying Nivo Ba the Liquid Left Glass. Of course, you all know that means we gotta change the uh, windshield wiper detergent very soon. Now it's disconnecting itself from the phone. It wasn't supposed to. It says it. 27 degrees Celsius. That's sounding better. I think that's starting to work. Let's see what our analog says. Yeah, it's right today. So that means it is in Fahrenheit. For the people of the educational channel, it's 80 degrees. Nice. All right, 80 degrees. Preparing ourselves to go to Slab City, pushing the air conditioning. Oh yeah, it's not working. It's, it used to work before I brought it into this Perry Ford. I have learned that the Perry Ford did not put in a new motor. It doesn't look like from their itemized receipt of their work. Catboarding, there's catboarding here. There's a, there's a really cool bar here um, next to the fitness with Rachel. What that is? Um, Let's go see the name of it. It's got really good pool tables. It's got the bigger ones. They're not bar tables. Let's take a look. And they're in really good shape. It's the uh, Breakpoint? I can't believe I, I brought so many people here when I was driving for Lyft. What did it say? Dream? Dream time. Break time. Yeah, it was break time. And I, I was always bringing people who were getting off work or yeah they were gonna take a long lunch break and never come back you know that one right i don't need to tell the boss until i've had enough drinks at the break time that it has a really cool it look it's a martini glass with um with the six ball or the nine ball in it that's weird i would have put an eight ball and it says billiards cocktails Oh, there's that. There's one of those major jukeboxes now. You know the the purple ones. They have these lights on top, and then it just does everything. You can get any video, like any streaming. Do you know those things? Oh, we cannot move. That's a beautiful BMW. Is he backing up or not? It's an M3. It does not have a front license plate. It's cool. Look at that grill. Yeah, you wouldn't want to put a license on that grill. That would mess it up. It's super shiny. The doors, the tires are, and rims are receded inside of this BMW. The front looks like it could have been from, like, 
the rally days of the 60s. But the side of it, and then the back with the wings, oh, and it's got this paint job. It's a black, but I don't know how to explain that one. It's like Mamelica. Yeah, that's what it says the color of this car is on the Perry Ford papers. The dates are all out. No, it's weird. I don't know what they've been doing these past six months with this car, but they are part of setting me up to not get to Slap City. I wasn't able to get there before the librarian left. Oh. All right. Let's not lose track. We were doing a live stream. It got cut off because what? We are always in these dead zones. So Santa Barbara, you're a dead zone. I'm learning it. No, there's this huge wind. It's the wind that makes them do that. That's why. There was a guy inside the kiosk who was trying to use that thing, you know, to find out how much money he won on the lottery. And he's sticking all those lottery tickets in this thing. And he was getting mad and he was going, why is it not working? And the lady said, oh yeah, it's already been like that a couple times today. And it's, um, it's like those speakers that we listen to, those machines that are playing the loops. It kept stopping because it's not streaming, you understand? So this Jeremy is streaming this noise. I mean, he's adding to our Wi-Fi problem in this section that is so cold. The Santa Barbara Care Center, they need their, you know, at least their money machine to allow the patients to use a car to take some money out and buy their medicine. But it keeps cutting off because of all these other companies. There's three of your stations there. And there's, I'm going to run into the next one. It's right in front of the Santa Barbara Care Center. Jeremy and company. Oh, there's a, oh, I love that. I love watching planes come in. They look huge when they're just landing there. So you know where we are, Jeremy. We're at that American tire that just moved in, but to take over the little guy right next to it. Oh man, why would you want to do that? That guy's been here forever. You guys are just, oh, well, there's nobody there. See, nobody's coming to you. They're going to go to the big brand. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, right there. There's a Nomad's car. Nomad's truck. Look at that. Ah, GMC. All right. Yeah, it's, um, I think I know that person. Oh, and there's one of those little dune buggy three-wheelers. Oh. Yeah, this place, the guy will fix a flat for you. They'll fix your flat and not charge you. That's their thing. You can come in there. You got a nail. You don't know what it is. It's the valve. They will fix it. They won't even say, hey, you should get new tires. But if you want to, you should. It will be the cheapest and the best. It'll definitely better better than an American tire. And you should do the test. Go go at a time when something's you get you get the flat repaired see how much it costs to get whatever tire you felt like getting and um, see what 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 they'll do what kind of deal they usually give you some deals they got they got things they can do they can mess those numbers they'll do it and then go to the American tire and don't mention it yet just see what they do, what they tell you straight up. And then tell them. Yeah. Then watch their face. And if you can get them to go, dude, that, that's not right. You, you, right? If you can get the guy where they're like, well, we can't. Yeah, we can't go below this, right? When there's no boss to talk to anymore to do the song and dance. You let them know. Like, you guys, I'm going to tell everyone. American Tire. Foxy American style. You're going out of this city. We don't need you. We are locals only. We're, uh, we're locals only or what else was in the news and review back in the days when they were fighting some other 
rascalian journalistic gonzo group. Yeah, before they joined forces, it was the news and review. And what else would they have? Oh, yeah. Fringe Beat. State Street. State Street Fringe Beat. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next. I really don't want to go downtown. I don't want to see what happened down there. But we got to do it, right? We got to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to right now go and take a look at uh, the bathroom of this Lyft uh, Uber rideshare hub. It's our hub, yeah, like they have in Los Angeles. And it's kind of in the same kind of neighborhood. It's a little industrial. We got McLean's Auto Body. Yeah, they've been there forever. Now they cover your cars. Look at that, yeah. They don't leave it out to get all dusty, like Ford did with this one. Yeah. Oh, there's a shopping cart. Where's it from? Oh, gross grocery outlet. How did it get all the way down here? Well, there's a creek, right? You guys know. And the oceans to the left of us down there. Oh, I love this airport. They re um, they reflatted it. They re landscaped it. They yeah. COVID, they got a lot of money. We are at the 812 gate. That's where I picked up the private eye, Thomas Grant, the one and only, with his CPAP machine. Well, that was the problem. I had, he didn't show up at first at that gate. And then I got really nervous. I stopped trusting him because the last time I was stuck at that gate, it was those guys who were speaking in like, Bolivia or something and they kept loading things from the car onto their own little private plane they kept asking me if I could take them to this care center and uh, get huge quantities which uh, I had to tell them no way the Green Party I would not do that for a Lyft driver or passenger right yeah, maybe certain drivers. You know who you are. Geo and McLovin. Oh, here we go. It's my own private airport. And there's that bathroom. I'm going to go in and do a um, Jane Boomerang from Slabs. We're going to do a, a shared a YouTube kind of zoom experience she'll be in her glittered arena there in slabs and i'll be putting some new glitter right they keep taking it off um charging me not they didn't even like when i painted it beige once yeah it was a really nice beige it was well it wasn't beige it was um egg white it was egg white it was satin the guy at the galita paint paint store we worked really hard to get that color it, you know what I mean Jane would understand and then once I did a sponge thing that took a lot of time with just earth earth and earth and paint um, not earth paint earth paint you know colored earth and then you sponge it on you know what that, that it was ergo it was um, working with your your environmental footprint but leaving like you, that you could camouflage. Like that encampment next to where I think Lee McMillan died. I believe, if I'm saying I believe, then I don't really, I'm not sure. But I think the creek side, because it was only open for a couple days during the COVID at that time. So I think she was in there she came over from the turnpike, talked to somebody in there who's on a tape that they don't want to show us, or he said it's erased. So our team is saying, oh, you tampered, which is perfect. They done it already with, with the one dude and that other girl. Ambassadors to the team of Jeremy and Shell on that turnpike road that we were talking about. 
in the live stream. But it stopped because of this crazy wind. Yeah, and that guy walked away and I said, he said, I'll try to cross the street. And I was saying, no, it, it, um, when there's the wind, it's not gonna work in this pocket in Nolita. Yeah, Nolita has no Wi-Fi service often. And that's why with slabs, we feel akin. And Verizon, this new service that they said will make it so this Wi-Fi won't do this. It's impossible here, as you can see by the terrain and just all the coordinates, that they're gonna put a tower up here and everywhere around Bodie, which is the northeast um, of California, was the same thing. They were telling me they had to go all the way to Reno to get Wi-Fi and they would do it at a friend's house. And even then it would be like, they could only get half of their mail or something. It was a, it was a thing, they were joking, but it sounded crazy after a while. I'm sure once it was no longer the season, which had already stopped early because of the COVID, but once you couldn't pass, like I wouldn't be able to pass some of those places that we did. We just made it. I mean, as you can see, the car didn't make it. It started to break down because of the cold. All right, so they're saying I could, I shouldn't have idled. I, I'm trying to re-establish the crime. This is what the Ford Perry is, is, is telling me I did in comparison to what happened and everyone who's heard the story has not allowed me to tell this, the real story, because it's kind of long and there's all these scary elements. And sometimes there's things that my family, they don't want to hear certain elements of my life. So I can't mention that and that and that. It's a thing, it's a whole censorship. And then the other people, they want me to not talk about my family because they don't understand what that's all about. These particular ones, I'm saying, they know what family is. But they don't know about being in an experiment, right? Not everyone is doing the WTF experiment. Shh. It's happening here. Marilyn. Marilyn Manson, if you are listening, miss, I'm sorry about what I said. Yes, I'm going through with the experiment. I will at one point be a pretty woman to go back into the lock and sheet of firehouse and have those men who pushed me out saying that I had the COVID just six months ago. Now when the COVID is no more and I'm looking hot and I'm sounding hot, I don't have this voice. What are they doing to the vocal cords? It has to go down before it goes up. Really? Oh, damn, someone showed up. Yeah, I'll let him use. It's this wind, it's driving me crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to, each time I'm just like, I'm not doing this experiment, but I'm not gonna investigate the lead thing because we can't film or record, take anything. What kind of ghost busting is this if even Kitas' sock doesn't work as a windscreen? That's what it is. I was in the middle of selling our windscreens, the Kitas put a sock on and it cuts off. It always does that, but now we have proof because it was inside, yes, YT Studio. They never, they stopped notifying. They just notified, so that means, yes, it's true. Jeremy does own that fuel depot. It's the same commercials. It proved that the speaker was busted there too. You can still hear it's loud. You can still hear that the commercials are inappropriate. Like what little old lady's gonna go to a, from the jail or, or, or some mentally ill, yeah, okay, little old lady is gonna walk over at three in the morning to listen better, to find out what was the number to go to this, this, it's a, it's an old people's home. You gotta yell that at 3 a.m. It triggers the fact that my grandfather was, he died in an old people's home. They threw him down some stairs. Just cause they couldn't understand what he was saying and they didn't like him escaping. The dude was a, like 99 years old, dude. He almost made it to a hundred. They're the ones who stopped it. 
And my grandma, too, I don't know. They said it was peaceful for her. The doctor just walked in at one moment and was like, oh, I thought she was sleeping the last time I was here. Now she's dead. It just, that's what they give you. But I don't think it's like that. I know it's not like that when you die. And I don't want to be there, be it county or private. I've learned county, private, in life, in conversations, in likeness. Fucking nephew Charles from American Spy Fox YouTube with all his subscribers and that fucking new microphone that everyone's using. Yeah, I'm just a jealous guy. Let's sing that one again, because look, there's another driver. Oh, man, he's got the big old van. He's making money. That's the only way, yeah, you can do right share. If I can give any advice, and I saw with my neighbor, he, who's doing well to this day, yeah, you got to get that van. You can't nomad the van. You got you to gotta set it up for some family of 12. You know what I mean? All with the little... All the jacks that they need next to their arms. Give them headphones if they need them. Yeah, you have to delice those headphones. So maybe, you know, invest in buying whatever. Invest in some. I'm going to take this from a Rideshare Professor's 9.99. Of course, um, it is this uh, spray that you spray into the vents. He says just down by the foot vents but yeah all right you can but the thing that he says he doesn't see where it would work it really works and that is inside the vents that are right there in the dash that goes straight back to these people yeah it helps us all breathe i was sniffing that stuff i got addicted to this liquid this what was it eucalyptus spray oh my god i gotta stay away but if you do get it, you got to get the right kind. And this one, I only got one. And I used to be in this Shell station where Jeremy, I don't know. I didn't have trouble with him back then. He didn't know me yet. But I was starting to point things out. I said, oh, these are really cool. I see when you get these little local products and you set them on the counter like that. I love it when it's a good one. Sometimes it's just crap. You know how they put it at the counter. Sometimes it's just these, like a flipper or something whatever those things you know spinner to be calm stress relievers and stuff like that where you're like oh i'm not gonna pay nine bucks for that thing anyways even if it worked but he, but when it's really good like this spray i was like oh i, I wanted to tell them you know it, it really all these people the passengers were really happy they loved the smell but they said they could breathe better and then i'd show them the bottle and say you should get it at this gas station that's the only place i could find it but it's coming from Ojai. And, and and it says on it, like, pretty much, it cures all flu, COVID. Yeah, it just lists SARS. It, it doesn't matter what was true. It's just those people paid me in tip so much more just by reading that bottle and thinking that maybe, yeah, they were pulling one over just by taking that one lift with this gypsy lift driver. And then I did it times a hundred. And then I thought, well, what if I forced them to even double the tip that they were thinking of doing? So I made those cards, right, that I've been showing that still have my numbers on them. And Misha, let me tell you, three, seven, three, seven, five, I think. You know, I said it in another thing, but all I know, oh, here it is. You will unlock your free credit, which could be a, a ride. You can make them take you to Atlantic City from wherever you are. You're understanding. It does say on my card, Misha, 37757. That's the correct one. It says subject to lift terms, which means, yeah, they're going to have to talk down lift until lift gives them even a better ride. Now that you will get to Atlantic City and back home. Yes. And so I teach tricks like that and oh my god there it is because i taught the trick and because you guys listened this far i'm giving you now the numbers for those of you who are playing the game 
um, from Slap City to wherever, and you're planning to go to all those places that were in the, the videos on the Lord Crichton's channel, like uh, SpongeBob's house next to the Tremors Motel, that's where they filmed Tremors, that's where they filmed uh, SpongeBob, and uh, there is a there's stuff there that we filmed. There's an art colony down the street. There is ranches that are just abandoned. It's a ghost town. There is a beef jerky place. You guys have to stop there, right? And you know that it was a scavenger hunt. And so all the videos, you got to back up to the ones that you remember that we were following this ribbon. It was a red ribbon tied around a pole. The first one on that 395 to be sure that, yes, we are going the right way, will be, you will see Cartago, population 92. You're going to go, dude, he wasn't lying. You pull over, you look to your right. There is a ranch that was in a movie. You will recognize it, but go explore it. That part didn't get filmed. You will see a road that goes back behind that motel, the Trammers one, with the burnout motel sign. Please take a picture, put it on Google. No one's got a good picture of it yet. You gotta make it look like it was back in the 70s. You'll see all those studio apartments that are, it's like a motel, but now it's just on the side of that road with all those trucks going by, like it's Pet Cemetery, Stephen King's, right? with. The truck driver's just jamming, tweaking the Ramones. If you walk across your street now, if we can own that place, all that that you're looking at, yeah, that's a lot of prime land. Yeah, you see that mountain? Watch it change. Yeah, there'll be snow, there'll be salt, there'll be geysers. It is a beauty in its own that there is occasionally complete silence. That 20 minutes of silence, that I was searching through the whole trip. We only found it in front of that sign at Bodhi, which said, you must turn back. Anything ahead here is gonna be like Area 51 material, right? It wasn't Area 51. It might've been the Mojave. We're saying that we took a, a left turn, right? We're saying we're doing another Stephen King thing, which was that lady who just took a shortcut. She would just, space out she'd set the am to a certain radio station she would just want to get away from her relationships her work or anything what was going on in her head and she would drive and i understand that my doctor does too he knows that's your meditation you can meditate yeah while you're driving a car and so i would go to those kind of places myself or drive super late at night here around the city and just listen to the tires and, and my head would, would space out. And then suddenly I'd be somewhere else, like really far away. And I'd look at the time and not figure out how I got there so fast. And that's that story. She, she kind of bypasses something. And I found something in this Mojave Desert along with a Native American Indian who explained I needed to do some huru guru on this stone that I had stolen from the ghost town. You're not supposed to take anything, right? And I've been hanging around my neck, but it has been blessed, it has been polished. A deep friend who was half Native American Indian and half Greek died while setting the uh, metal that's holding it. It's a special kind of metal taken from these cans, these old tins that are from the 1800s, left over from this ghost town, right? I know, we're not supposed to take anything, but we kind of took past that sign since it did have cameras, but no one showed up. We just waited till it was dark, right? And went over your border. And we realized just like in Area 51 through this Mojave Desert, right there at what we were calling the gateway to hell. Yeah, it'll take you to the Joshua tree, but yeah, it'll take you to Death Valley. All right, you're saying, what, this seems too far away. We must have gotten the coordinates right or wrong, but how can we right now, doing the course, playing the game, 
We're right here on that corner. We see the beef jerky. We're gonna go talk to the guy in that weird casino that has 7-Eleven gas. They're gonna tell you about a pet cemetery on in the bathroom, yeah. All right, it's all true. You must go in there, get the... Uh, there will be dream catchers in the place of whatever you were expecting to find in your local 7-Eleven. Go to these dream catchers, find the one that is missing right now from the latest scenes in the latest car of the game, The Secret Life, the saga of The Secret Life of Thomas Grant P.I. from Lampo. All right, you made it that thus so far. You've looked around, you are marveling that you could take a picture at any time of day, but really the early morning and the late nights are the best, and that was kind of a law. That's right, that's the law at Brooks Photography School in Santa Barbara where the protagonist used to hang out there because friends and roommates and you could get your film developed for free or they'd let you use the darkroom to maybe develop a photo of Iggy Pop. Hello, I got triggered by the independent.com, not you, Joe Woodard or DJ Paladino or Nick Welsh or Matt Kepman or I'm leaving someone else, Duncan Wright, but I think you are out of town, so you don't care. But you are listening to my podcast, so hello. How you been? We missed you. Where have you been? We missed that accent. You're going to have to let me know if I can copy how you talk uh, for um, for likeness reasons. So give me that call. It's 1-805-964-2171. I've been repeating it all over. Nobody's been calling. Oh, they, they've been trying to leave messages. I said leave a message first. I'm sorry. I just got a call from my mom. She broke in. She's telling me that my mailbox is full. Oh, why would I do that? She asked me if I got her last message. Uh, and I kind of said, well, you kind of answered your question. I, I can't get my messages when it's full. I wonder why I would do that. Maybe I'm in a bipolar or something. Like maybe I'm depressed and I don't want to be answering it. And I'm making the perfect excuse. Be like, I would have answered that last depressing message that you left me that triggered me to no end, that made my happiness go to less than zero. Yeah, you want to talk about it. Now I'm triggered. I'm yelling. They're like, oh, my God, we just cared about your health. Oh, now you don't want me to say God. You say, leave your daddy out of it. You're saying, oh, you're saying your daddy now is... Robin Williams, oh yeah, hanging out with Andy Kaufman. They are your dead roommates. Who's Who else? Yeah, they start asking questions like that. Really, you hear voices. Do they talk to you? And I go, no, I talk to them. They at least listen to me. I've never had roommates like that. Usually roommates poison me. Or they say something behind my back and, and, and make it so that they're going to kick me out. And... I believe, I need this from Nick Welsh, but I think you were my roommate at this time. But you hid behind your door or left to do important things. You were probably already writing. And you had this very old cat. And when I was the only one, of course, unemployed. No, I was teaching. It just went to low power. All right, we bought gas. We're turning it on the motor. It's saying it's an ST. It's telling us 71,000 miles. I bought it new, children. I only put in 1,299 miles of my own pleasure of the car. The rest was lift. You tell me, McLovin and the vidIQ tutorial squad for the Lyft team, give me a cup, give me a Tesla, I don't know, what. whatever you guys feel like, but not these vests. To have four vests just means that I was a chump, four times, a thousand, and nobody even knows what a thousand rides could entail when one of them is like Charlotte Gansbor in, in, yeah, nobody cares. 
Charlotte Gansbourg is the daughter of George Gansbourg. No, Serge. Serge. He liked to be known as Serge. Like a power surge. All right, I'm repeating now before we end this one. We must end this one quickly. They just told me they have notified I'm overdoing all my memory limits. So the next one will be a weird stream, all right? I'm sorry about today. We'll fix it tomorrow. But I will be at the MGM at one point when we go to this DMV. Maybe we'll record audio of it. If I get out alive and I got the tags, I will be tonight at 23 hours and 33 minutes. Find me at the MGM Mirage in the lobby, okay? To get to the lobby that I'm talking about, it's the Players Club. To find out how to track me, that's all of you playing the game, Secret Life. Even you, Nina, you said you don't want to play. Well, you will now, right after the viral video, and you're watching this, and you're going, Oh, why didn't I listen? I, didn't, I want to play this game. Yes, here we go. Playersclub.com. That's P L A Y E R S club.com. You want to track me? I will be at. You think I'm going to be at the MGM Grand? No way. Unless you're expecting me to be in Detroit. I will be there at some time during the summer. So if you want it, MGM Grand Detroit, 1 877 888. 2121. If what I'm telling you is a lie, please put that in the comments of the next live stream. New York, New York. Yeah, I'm talking about that hotel. These are hotels, people. They're not Detroit. Yeah, it's not in Detroit. The Luxor. I'm not going to go. The Excalibur. If my daughter comes from France. She loves that. So if my daughter, you must know her name, the correct name of the correct daughter then you can call this one, 800. Yeah, I'm giving you an 800 number. Oh, I can't read it. Maybe it was an 800 number. I think it's 835-2777. Well, I don't think we're gonna stay there. No, we'll be staying at our favorite. It's been torn down, the Monte Carlo. 1-800-822-8277. Seven, six. Now, when you call, don't call now. Call when you're ready, when you're in town. They will explain to you why the Monte Carlo is not where you will be standing going, oh my God, they tore it down. We only came here now. Game players, you must always say the same thing. We only came here from France, which is now nine hours ahead. I'm talking to my daughter on the phone. We're live streaming this. Yeah, no, get me the person. You got to do my act, right? What do you mean there's no Monte Carlo? Holy shit, then who took my reservations? What do you mean it's the reservations fault? You, I'm in this player's club. You must always say that when they ask, who are you in the end? Once they give you that beautiful room, it may be the, uh, don't, well, don't let them say Mandalay If they say Mandalay Bay, that's the first thing they're going to say is, all right, we'll set you up at the Mandalay Bay um, three days, all right, a week, you know, in a smoking room. You're going to see that's hard to get there. No, say you want them to rebuild the Bellagio. That's right. It's probably still there. It's a remnants of. You must ask them to drive you. A taxi driver. Say, drive me to the place in Bellagio. Tell me where the Paris Conservatory. That's right. There is a there's a street in this Bellagio. Joe Kaiser and UGP Vlogs, if you're already there, which I think you are, you're just pretending, you're sleeping it off to play the game tonight. Tonight, you might already be tonight. You don't know where I am calling from. Yeah, you do. All right. The Bellagio 1858 nine six seven that can't be right it's either five six seven seven six eight seven or yeah now you got to be detectives i think it's this one actually or it's nine six seven seven six eight seven all right now if you get the wrong number 
you will be connected into that part. It's a mini game of the PI game. You will be connected to a 411 operator who right away, right, will have a prompt. You'll get this prompt that's gonna tell you all this COVID stuff and whatever and you're waiting. First you must say, try to say toll free, right? It's it, it, You'll see, it won't work. Then say Paris, Texas. You say Paris, Texas, you will be directly connected to a 411 national security who's who's gonna ask you if it's an emergency, you must hang up and dial 911. That's your first thing that they're gonna yell at you while you're stuck, right, in Paris, Texas. They're gonna then go, we do not do toll free, right? They're dissecting that you said on the tape that an 800 number, you just went toll free. They're gonna, they're gonna reprimand you and if you are now triggered, Please hang up. They will say, please, have a nice day, but call 911, right? You might not have the energy. You might not have arms. That's what I'm saying. That's when you got to get them and say, give me the superior who will be giving me the correct number for the Bellagio. But not only that, those numbers that the Lord Crichton was showing that YouTube doesn't have a number to be contacted after they've censored and then banned from the garden the Lord and his educational channel that is in the commons. That's right, it's for all the people. And we're a game, so we didn't invite you to our private game, did we, other players? You are now all part of the MGM Mirage Players Clubs. You ready for this? Misha Bodnar, and here's the number when you need to get around to get inside that club. Once you are inside the MGM Mirage, Joe Kaiser, UGP Vlogs, I hope this is going into your self-conscious while you are all both unconscious. Maybe there's a couple more with you. I don't know what you vloggers are doing. 0003444426. Yeah. The Players Club. Ask for Misha. Ask for Bodnar. B-O-D-N-A-R and set up your room. They will give you a room in that Bellagio, whatever the hotel, the new one's called. They will say, ah, re ah, re ah, and go Mandalay Bay, forget it, hey, hey. Just, they will take you to that Paris Conservatory. You will take that walk down the halls, the same halls that the protagonist, this Misha Bodnar cellist, the only First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara since 1976, visually saw the first oil spill of this shell brought on by maybe products of McDonald's and this movie called American Interdita he saw in Paris. While going to that conservatory, you will see probably in that Bellagio, the hotel that was next door to the school, right? Where there was maybe a McDonald's? I don't know. There was a movie theater for sure. And the protagonist, who my mama was asking, who is it? Well, it was this me. It was maybe Crichton. It was Michael Crichton. To those people, right? I, they were knowing that I was not a Bodnar. I was not a Horton. I was a Mark Crichton. That's right, Mark Crichton. And I became a new person who was way far away from my country. I just pretended I was an American. And I was way far away from my family, so I just pretended I was an Ukrainian Russian with Jewish sisters and a very hardcore mom who was a wonderful musician and piano teacher still is and I'm just forgiving her right now by taking all her points from her players club MGM Mirage that's right mama I'm kicking you out because of COVID times don't worry you know you got the chew mesh waiting for you just up the street off the 154 people it's a slice of Las Vegas but Indian Native American style and it is on actual Native American land. Whoa. Let's see Las Vegas say that. 
Let's see John Taffer go around saying that's cross-contamination. How dare you kill people? How dare you kill people? How dare you COVID? Yeah, not let us wash our hands in your restaurants. How dare you say that even your own employees can't use the bathroom? How dare you? You just came out, boss, of that particular bathroom. How dare you? I'm a linebacker. I'm screaming at you. What do you mean? You don't want to be on my show. Shit. You're not going to sign any paper. Whoa. All right, key grips. Especially Bourdain's who are working for free as some sort of thing he left in his dying contract with Viacom. Yeah, you got to play the Lord Crichton's viral video when it comes out. Everyone's going to have to have their eyes pried open, their ears pried right open like war is over or we killed off Osama. But it'll be Jeremy. It'll be inside this... Santa Barbara landed the newlyweds and nearly deads. I'll be nowhere to be found. Yeah, but you can think about me. I'll probably be back in Paris if my body stays in one piece and they're able to put it in some sort of box and send it there. It really depends on you, game players. How is your game player going to get that third death? You know you're on your third death. You should make this one count because it's one of those games where, like Mission Impossible, after you've heard the mission, even if you don't accept it, that tape is going to... It's going to smoke. It's going to self-destruct like no computer will ever do.